Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into Microsoft Loop for an end of year review and this is a part of a series where I do like end of year reviews on applications I thought were exciting last year so I made videos about applications I would keep my eye on this year and one of the applications I was really excited about was Microsoft Loop and it is time to do an end of year review to talk about how this has developed this year because Microsoft Loop has actually done a lot of things from last year to this year and in today's video that is what I'm going to cover the things that have changed and my thoughts on them. When Microsoft Loop first released, I was, uh, or when the idea first came out, I was really excited. Like, think about a um, notion, a version of Notion, just inside of the 365 ecosystem, the Microsoft ecosystem. That sounded like a dream. When they first released it, I was really underwhelmed, but I think it has gotten a lot better. So, in this video, we are actually going to take a look at some of the things that has changed. So uh, the databases are a little different this year. We have board views, we have table views, but we also have the ability to open this within our task application. So open in planner and open in to do. Uh, and you can also learn how tasks are synced. But basically we have better task management inside of here. And uh, it wasn't clear what uh, Microsoft uh, Loop was trying to be. And it still isn't totally clear because it isn't a project management tool. It can't be that because we already have planner and they have worked on a new planner experience for a while now, so it can't be a project management tool, but it can't be a note-taking app either, because it, uh, we already have uh, Microsoft OneNote, which is the note-taking experience. So what is this actually trying to be? I think it is trying to be a little bit of everything and a way to sync all of your uh, Microsoft applications into one place but let's just go ahead and just uh, add something here so this is a test uh, task and I can turn this into a board view if I would want to do that instead I can go back to the table view or I can group it by something else uh, let's go back to the table view here so uh, this is the bucket here I only have to do that is why this only shows to do as well so we got uh, that uh, we got an overall like revamp of how everything looks we now have the sidebar right here uh, and this is an addition i actually like a lot having your ideas and meeting notes here meeting notes didn't exist uh, last year so that is something new uh, ideas uh, has been around but it previously was in here so this was the way to access it now you can actually access it through the uh, different workspaces which i think is great i like to create new button here where i can just upload a file uh, and the file will be saved to a uh, OneDrive and added to this space. I like the fact that I can uh, add a link through this and I like the fact that I can also add a page through this. We have also had some uh, changes in the backslash functionality. So uh, here uh, we have a bunch of things. We have tables now. Um, we have uh, some pages or tables are basically your databases, uh, but they call them tables. I can't Ever seem to understand why uh, all of these applications use different names for things but we have math equations we have code blocks uh, we have uh, mermaid here as well we have uh, different textiles this we have had previously uh, we have a bunch of new templates as well some of these weren't here uh, last year like team uh, retrospective wasn't here last year this is if you have ever worked in something like an agile team or a team that uses agile or scrum uh, this is something you should be familiar with uh, we have the ability to add labels now and we also have the ability to add embeds and i'm not sure whether or not embed embeds came this year i think they actually came this year but i'm not sure but that has been a huge 
thing. So if we do a planner embed right here, I can actually add my plans from my uh, Microsoft planner into here. And that is what I'm saying when I am saying that um, Microsoft uh, Loop is trying to be the bridge between the different Microsoft applications. Uh, not only through having embeds inside of your workspace, but also the fact that all of these things you create here, like this, for example, this has been turned into a loop component, which can now live uh, in different places across your Microsoft uh, your Microsoft account. So this can live in Word, this can live in Outlook, this can even live in OneNote. I think they've added that this year as well. Uh, it can live in Microsoft Whiteboards, which is an application I didn't know existed until like six, seven months ago, which talks about some of the issues with uh, Microsoft. Um, but um, the point here is that they've added a lot of great functionality. The planner embeds, the fact that this now works in OneNote, uh, the boards and the ability to open them in task applications. So we have gotten a lot of things. I also like the general revamp of the sidebar here. I really like the meeting ideas and ideas uh, in here. I also uh, like something which I don't have on this account. I have it on my work account, on my day job, because uh, that's where we use Microsoft Loop a lot. Uh, and that is actually a uh, Microsoft Copilot within Microsoft Loop. That is also a huge addition, having that AI live inside of here and uh, being able to create things for you inside of here is uh, something that is really needed when they are pushing so heavily towards uh, Microsoft uh, Copilot. It is good to see the fact that they are actually also prioritizing to add this inside of here as well. That covers a lot of the major like things Microsoft added this year. I haven't covered everything, but I've covered some of the major ones. And that is uh, the biggest one is probably the Copilot integration with Microsoft Loop. That is the biggest one. Uh, but uh, you have also had uh, things like the uh, sidebar here and having that and also uh, if I'm not mistaken the embeds came this year for different Microsoft applications so having the ability to add planner here for example has been amazing and so that covers all of the good things but there are some issues the biggest one is that let's just jump into one of my databases if your database becomes too big so I have one at work for social media management where I track every single post uh, we've posted uh, and I track the likes, I track the impressions, I track average watch time, things like that. I also write the whole script inside of here. This is also something that is new inside of uh, Microsoft uh, Loop, the fact that you can now open your uh, entries in your table and write inside of them. That wasn't available before. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can actually open this up and write things. And I have done that. I've written all of my scripts inside of here. And I think I have around 50 entries or so. Some of them are uh, long. And when I say long, I mean like 250 to 350 words. And at that point, my uh, board or my table... Uh, is so slow that it is impossible to use to the point where I've switched a lot of this and put it inside of Microsoft Planner instead. My last thoughts on this is that I can't have uh, this uh, application right here, which is such an important application in my like daily workflow if I were to use it like uh, it is intended. I can't have an application like that be being slow, being buggy, databases not functioning. So that is the last thing I really want them to fix uh, is the overall reliability of the application. That covers it for today's video. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.